very good evening doctor. I am Dr. Thirunal Karasa, Professor of Pharmacology. Today we are going to discuss a wonderful topic in pharmacology that is the foundation of pharmacology. If you are thorough in that topic, the total pharmacology will become very, very easy. So, to discuss the pharmacology, the first topic I am going to discuss today is very important topic, foundation of pharmacology called autonomic nervous system. First ANS, in the ANS we having two important system namely sympathetic system, one more thing called parasympathetic system. There are two important system, one is called sympathetic, one more thing called parasympathetic. Okay. And then when you talk about sympathetic, parasympathetic, first thing you should know what is the neurotransmitter, look here actor. The neurotransmitter in sympathetic will be norepinephrine, sympathetic neurotransmitter norepinephrine. Similarly, please note them, the neurotransmitter in parasympathetic will be acetylcholine, please note this point. The neurotransmitter in parasympathetic will be acetylcholine, question 1. Since acetylcholine is the transmitter of this system, I am going to call this system as a cholinergic nervous system. So, question parasympathetic system is also called cholinergic nervous system. Question number 2. When you say sympathetic and parasympathetic, what is the outflow? Outflow of sympathetic and parasympathetic. Look here. The outflow of parasympathetic coming from cranium and from sacrum. So, it is called as craniosacral outputs. Note this point. The outflow of parasympathetic coming from cranium and from sacral. So, it is called as craniosacral in outputs. When you say cranio, what are all the cranial nerve having parasympathetic activity? What are the cranial nerve having parasympathetic? Look here. Three 7, 9 and 10. Very important. The cranial nerve having parasympathetic activities are 3, 7, 9 and 10. Similarly, when you see sacral fiber, what are the sacral fiber having parasympathetic activity? S2, S3, S4 called sacral fiber. So, question cranio sacral output. Similarly, when you coming to sympathetic, please one point, when you coming to sympathetic, the output of sympathetic coming from thorax and also from lumbar, look at the picture, coming from thorax and also from lumbar. Since coming from thorax and lumbar, I am going to call this output as a thoracolumbar in nature. So, question, the output of sympathetic called thoracolumbar. Now, question one. When you say thoracolumbar, exactly speaking, please note, exactly speaking, from which thorax to which lumbar, look at one. It is coming from T1 to L3, very important. It comes from T1 to L3, called thoracolumbar output. So, please note a point. The take home message from this slide is point one. The most important MC question, what are all the cranial nerve having parasympathetic activity mean 3, 7, 9 and 10, very important question. Once you know this much, my next important question, look here, we know acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic. So, first today we are going to discuss my first topic called as cholinergic drugs.